What's up, guys? CrackerJacker80 here, and today I'm bringing you guys a gameplay commentary on the map Showtime. This is an awesome gameplay where I went like 28 and 4, so it's really, really good. I'm using the Vector with uh, Red Dot and Rapid Fire. And um, yeah, it's a really, really good class for this um, map since most of it is close quarter combat. So you might need a, a submachine gun or a shotgun for this map. Uh, it's one of the four maps uh, from the DLC pack that just came out. It was Nemesis. And yeah, so let's get right to the commentary. Uh, first thing is, um, you guys should get on uh, either Ghost or Black Ops 2 this weekend because there is double XP this weekend. And also, uh, for Black Ops 2, there's Nuketown 24-7. And for Ghost, there is Strike Zone 24-7. So that's really cool. I've been playing a lot of Strike Zone recently this weekend. And it is awesome. It's a ton of fun to just uh, play it all the time with these different game modes. And I have a ton of uh, really good classes uh, that work out for Strike Zone. So it's really awesome. And yeah, so... What I want to talk about for this commentary is advanced warfare and what I'm expecting, what I want to ex uh, what I want to have in the game, and also a few uh, few uh, details about it. So first, I'm going to say that uh, today is the 10th of August, and tomorrow the actual multiplayer, uh, you know, reveal is coming out, and I'm really excited for it. Uh, you know, I'm, it's actually going to be live, so I'm, I have this. I'm going to put a website in the description where you guys can watch it live. Um, as it's coming out, so that is really, really cool. I'm really looking forward to that, and I'm really looking forward, in general, to this new Call of Duty, because I'm kind of over Ghosts right now. Uh, the DLC pack was kind of the last thing for me in this game, and that's why I went back into Black Ops 2 for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so I'm ready for a new Call of Duty, uh, and I'm sure a lot of other people are too. So what I want from Advanced Warfare, there are many, many things that I want to change from Ghosts to Advanced Warfare. Um, so I'm going to talk about them in this commentary. So the first thing is smaller maps. I feel like Ghosts had really, really big maps, um, like maybe uh, Stonehaven was a big map, Stormfront, Chasm, all these maps were really, really big, and I'm sure a lot of people want some uh, smaller maps in Advanced Warfare. Hopefully they'll give some smaller maps, but also make them fair, so that all these new abilities in Advanced Warfare won't be just overpowered in these maps. Now I also want better kill streaks. I feel like Ghosts kill streaks did not kill um, as many people as uh, normal Call of Duty kill streaks, and I feel like I just I didn't really enjoy them as much as let's say Black Ops Two kill streaks or even Black Ops One kill streaks. I feel like Black Ops One kill streaks were nice, um, and also in this game there are um, support streaks, and I just hate support streaks. I think they're really really overpowered. Well, not really overpowered, but I just don't like how they. If people just get a ton of deaths and only like eleven kills, they can still get an Oracle. Uh, however many of the kills that is, I forget, but, like, you know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's just kind of unfair. I know some of you guys use support, and it's fine. I just feel like it's, uh, I like the point streaks in Black Ops 2, or score streaks, a lot better. I feel like that's more fair to everybody. And also, no death streaks. I really do not want death streaks in Advanced Warfare. I feel like that's just, yeah, an award, an award for dying too much. I don't know, it's just not really that good. Um, but yeah, that was the gameplay, guys. And we are moving on to the next one. So this is Blitz on Bayview, and I went 19 and won this game. It was a pretty nice gameplay, in, in my opinion, uh, for Bayview, which is mostly snipers most of the time, but sometimes not. Uh, really good gameplay. Uh, but let's keep talking about Advanced Warfare. So another thing I want um, is the Combat Axe instead of the Throwing Knife, or just something that can bounce, because in the, with uh, Ghosts, the Throwing Knife rarely bounces um, if you're throwing it right at an object. If you throw it at an angle, it sometimes bounces, but uh, you know when you're throwing it right at an object, not usually bounce, bouncing, and for random combat axes or random, um, yeah, random combat axes and tomahawks, uh, it's better because it bounces, so there's a more higher chance you're gonna get killed with them. So I want something that, that would bounce instead of just landing flat on the ground and not bouncing at all. Also, um, I want some standout guns in this game. Uh, in Ghosts, I feel like there wasn't really a standout gun that um that would everyone would say, yeah, that's the best assault rifle, that's the best submachine gun. Uh, you know, and in Black Ops 2, uh, there was kind of a standout gun, um, I mean, in Black Ops 1, yeah, the Commando was probably the standout gun, AK-47 for all, for the assault rifles, uh, FAMAS for the submachine guns, you know, there were definitely standout guns in that one, uh, Modern Warfare 3, the ACR for assault rifles, um, people have mixed opinions about the submachine guns, but I would say the MP7 was very, very overpowered, so that was probably a standout one. Um, but, you know, just a standout gun that you know, people would, yeah, say that, um, that that was the best gun. So I kind of want something like that in Advanced Warfare so that, you know, there's a gun that you can unlock and it's really good. I don't know, I don't know what else to say about it, but <laughs> that's just kind of what I want from it. Um, so also, I want not as powerful snipers. Now, I know a lot of people are going to 
be very controversial about this topic, but um, the snipers in Black Ops 2 were just too overpowered. You know, you'd get... If you were in a lobby with all snipers, at least for me, I would just go negative by a ton of kill, by a ton of deaths because you know just all these snipers just quick scoping. It's so hard to kill them. Uh, they can just quick scope you right in the face, bam, kill. Uh, it's usually a one shot kill with a DSR. Just everything about them was overpowered. So I hope that advanced advanced warfare snipers will be less overpowered, kind of like in Black Ops One, uh, where the snipers were very very hard to use um, for quick scoping. So that's what I kind of want. And also, the last thing I want is pace. So I feel like in Ghosts, there was not a lot of pace and fast-moving action. You kind of, there was a lot more campers in Ghosts. That's kind of what happens. And I feel like it'd be a lot better if there's uh, just more action and running around and fast stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what I have to think. That's what I have to say about Advanced Warfare. Hope you guys enjoy this commentary. Um, hopefully you guys tune in for the live Advanced Warfare uh, thing tomorrow, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.